Hello, magandang umaga po. How's everybody doing today? Today we're going to talk about the uh, new uh, PhilHealth law or PhilHealth premium. Uh, someone uh, sent me a message in one of my videos asking me if I could please make a video on the new PhilHealth rates uh, that's coming out. So uh, I quickly uh, did some research on that and uh, that's what we're going to talk about. Stay with me. Thank you. I heard some complaints about, uh, particularly on OFWs, why they should be paying this PhilHealth, uh, not to mention the fact that it's going up in, in, in price in terms of uh, premium, uh, when they're not getting the benefit of it. Because when they're overseas, they also have uh, uh, insurance with an employer, so they're sort of double paying or paying for something that they're not getting any benefit of. And uh, that's very true. I think uh, PhilHealth should look into this again and uh, make sure that uh, it's implemented uh, fairly. I prepared a PowerPoint presentation so that it could be very easily understood. And uh, this is going to be a short video uh, just to relay the message to, in particular, OFWs and other people who may not be familiar with this yet, although it's already in effect as of Actually, they, they said it's December of 2019, but first payment will be in 2020. So let's get on with it. This is the rate structure of field health. In 2019, that's last year, you were paying 2.75% on minimum income of 10,000 uh, pesos and a maximum income of 50. So if you're making 5,000, you will pay 2.75% of 10,000, even if you're making less. But if you're making more than 50,000 pesos, let's say you're making 60, you will only pay 2.75 of the 50,000. Now, they're increasing the rate effective 2020. Actually, they say it's effective sometime in December of 2019, but that is when they will be computing what you will pay in 2020. Okay, so if your income as of December of 2019 is, let's say, 10,000 or let's say 50,000, you will pay for 2020 up to 50,000, 2.75 of 50,000. But after that, it will be 3%. They, they kept the monthly floor, the monthly floor income the same, 10,000, but they are increasing the monthly income ceiling, that is the maximum you will pay, to 60,000, and also the percentage rate is going up half a percent every year, up to 5% in 2024 to 2025. This stays the same, and this one, they're also increasing 10,000 every year. So in 2023, for example, you will pay 4.5% up to a maximum of 90,000 of earnings. If your earnings is, let's say, 100,000, you will only get charged 4.5% of 90, okay? So that is how this chart works. Now... Its application for employed members will be for the applicable month of December, which is payable January of 2020, as I mentioned before. The new law applies to direct contributors, meaning those who are gainfully employed, you have to be employed to be subject to this, and bound by the employer-employee relationship. In addition, kasambahais, those are the maids or the uh, house helpers, self-earning individuals, practicing professionals like lawyers, accountants, doctors, and OFW belong to this membership category as well. And this will also apply to seafarers like uh, people working on, uh, uh, on a boat or on water. This will be applied to them. Premiums for self-paying members are computed based on their monthly earnings and paid in whole by the member. Okay, so you will compute that based on your monthly income, but you will compute the total year's payroll. So you multiply that by 12. That is what you're going to pay. 
PhilHealth will require the uh, latest income tax return, notarized affidavit of income declaration or overseas employment contract as proof of income. Otherwise, you it will be based your contribution will be based on the maximum or highest amount. Okay, so if you cannot produce any of this, let's say in 2020, you'll pay 3% of 60,000. So if you make something less than 60,000 pesos, might as well produce those documents. Under Kasambahay law, employers shall pay premiums of their domestic helper in full, except when the monthly salary exceeds 5,000, where the, kasimb the kasambahay shall then be deducted their equal share of monthly contribution. So, if uh, if the if the uh, house helper uh, is making less than five thousand, it will be paid for one hundred percent by the employer. But if she's, he or she is making over five thousand, it will be fifty fifty. Half will be paid by the employer; the other half will be paid for by the employee. Premiums are computed for full year and paid either annually or quarterly. So they will compute your total year premium and then uh, I guess most people will pay this thing quarterly. But if you want to pay annually, uh, that, that is okay too. There you have it. As you can see, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, the, the biggest change is that they're increasing the price. Uh, the, the seniors, senior citizens, uh, still do not have to pay any premium as far as I can see. Uh, so for those retirees uh, who are watching this and you are a citizen, uh, you still don't have to pay any premium. But for retirees who are non-citizens, I believe it's still available to, to you, but you will have to pay a slight premium. Okay. So if you have any comments or corrections or additions to this video, I'll appreciate it if you can put it in the uh, uh, comment down below. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like it. Please do share uh, this with uh, some of your colleagues and uh, please do subscribe. I will appreciate it a lot. Thank you.